Hello everyone. Uh, good morning for the people who are in Europe and good afternoon for the others. I don't know exactly where you are. I am Stéphane Simon. I'm professor in odontics at the Paris Diderot University in Paris and I'm talking from the Samor de Fossé from the Septodon company here in Paris. And the topic today is to talk about the retreatment of the root canal which have been filled with the bio root. That is a huge topic and hot topic because a lot of people um, have a break, uh, a break in their mind and say uh, they, because they don't want to use this material, this feeling material, because they don't know, they think it's not possible to retreat the teeth. First of all, just, just to be sure that we are talking about the same thing regarding the retreatment. Retreatment is not only removing the material from the root canal. Retreatment, the objective of the retreatment is to get access to the part of the root canal which was not treated in the first time. We need to get this patency, we have to go through the material to reach this apical third and then shape it, clean it and fill it again. So that's why removing the material is one thing, but retreating the tooth is, uh, retreating the root canal is to go through this and get access to that. So when I, uh, I've been using this bio root as a filling material for I don't know three four years now, and to be honest, we have uh, we have been uh, uh, in fact uh, we have been faced to very few cases of retreatment, maybe three to four, um, and that so I don't have a lot of uh, clinical experience in this, but we were concerned about that: is it possible to remove the bio material from the root canal or not? When you go in the literature, on my knowledge, uh, last year there were only one paper talking about removing the bioceramics bio from the root canal. If I remember well, it's a paper from Contaxiotis in, 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 in Greece. And his uh, conclusion was, uh, yes, it is possible to retreat this kind, of tr this kind of root canal filling, but only on straight and easy root canals. And that's uh, a concern because when the root canal is easy, uh, we have very few chance to have to retreat this. Most of the time, the retreatment case we have is our complicated and curved root canals. So, uh, as a researcher, when you don't find any uh, 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 solution inside the literature, the best way is to do the experimentation by yourself. And that's what we did last year with one of my students. Um, the hypothesis was, yes, we can go through the root canal filling, root canal fill with bio root to get access to this apical third. And uh, to test it, we did a, a big, a, a nice experience and we treated, we decided to retreat 40 teeth. 20 of them uh, were filled with the bio root and the single, single cone and for 20 of them were filled with a single cone and a zinc oxygenol base sealer, which was the pup canal sealer. The idea was, is it possible to go through and get patency of the apical third? So, first of all, I asked my students to do bad treatment. I asked her to shape the root canal, but on the short working length, less than 3 mm from the root apex. So those, the, the, the idea was to simulate a short root canal shaping and filling. So, and she did it very well on, uh, on 40 days. And after that, she filled all these root canals 20 of them with a bio root and 20 of them with a zinc oxygen, uh, zinc oxygen based sealer. And then we had so 20 teeth with bio root and 20 teeth with pup canal sealer. Then she mixed them and she divided it, the two groups in two subgroups. 10, 10 teeth of fish, bio root and agenol were addressed to myself as the senior practitioners and her as the junior one, she took 10 teeth of each group. So, in summarize, I had 20 teeth to, to disobturate and try to get access to the apical third. 10 of them with the bio root and 10 of them with the zinc oxidogenol. And she had exactly the same thing. She was just graduated, a very young junior practitioner, and uh, I asked her to do this retreatment exactly like she, do the, she does a retreatment in a practice. I had my microscope, I had my ultrasonic tips, I had everything, and she used exactly what she wanted to use. And the second point was we recorded the time with a chronometer. We recorded the time required for each root canal to disobturate and, and to get access to the apical third. So the results were very, very interesting. 96% of the root canal, 120 finally, 
96% of these root canals were have, had been able to be disobturated and we found the apical patency. The 4% is only three root canals, as uh, five root canals uh, were f failed because they were definitely the first and we were a little bit lost. But very, very quickly, we were able to retrieve this, to disobturate this root canal to get the apical patency. In terms of, uh, uh, in terms of time, um, hopefully, uh, definitely, the time I needed to disobturate the root canals were, was definitely lower compared to Earl's. Uh, it was very good for my ego at first, but it shows that there, probably the experience of the practitioners is influence, uh, influences the, 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 the times. It doesn't influence the final results, it just influences the time required to get this access to the patency of the root canal. That's very important. And then the difference were uh, uh, statistically significant. Um, one of another conclusion of that was that there is no difference regarding the material. I didn't need more time to retreat the tooth filled with the root canal with the bio root compared to the ding oxidational base one. Same for the junior one. And that was interesting, it just means that Finally, even if you don't know what is inside the root canal, as, as soon as you get a good apricot inside, there is no issue to uh, remove everything and get the patency. So uh, that's very interesting because that's the first experimentation on my knowledge uh, which shows that you can go through the material. Finally, in the discussion, I asked myself, say, oh, is it possible? Because the bio root is supposed to be exactly the same as the biodentin. And if you use the biodentin for the coronal restoration, you know that it's a very, very odd material. So how is it possible to go through, through this uh, uh, very odd material? Because you know, when we know that when you use a file, when you are in the root canal, if you have two different materials, one which, is, one which is harder than the other, the file is going to select the softer one. So if the bio root is harder compared to the dentin, the file is going to go through the dentin and then we, do it, we make a perforation. So, but it didn't happen. So how is it possible? Uh, there are two main reasons for that. The first one is that the difference between biodentin and bioroot preparation is that the biodentin is mixed with a vibrator. And we know that this vibrator under 30 seconds of vibration increase the hardness of the material by a lot. When you, use, when you see the bioroot, you use powder and liquid and you mix it on the, on the plate and uh, you don't vibrate them. So you decrease these hardness if inside the root canal. That's the first reason, but probably not the most important one. The second one is that bioroot and biodentin are very, very close. They are both three calcium silicon based sealers, uh, materials. But in the biodentin, we will find some calcium carbonate that is not present in the bioroot. And that's what makes the difference of, in terms of hardness comparing the biodentin and the bioroot. And that's very important because under coronal restoration, we need some hardness. We need something very odd, very close to the dentin, because when you drill it and you restore the tooth, you need something which is very close with the elasticity, mode, elasticity young motor and elasticity very close to the dentin. But inside the root canal, we're looking for uh, a sealing, stability in the time and possibility to remove it. We are not looking for something very, very hard. We don't need it. And that's why, that's, that's the main difference in terms of composition of the material, presence of calcium carbonate in the biodentin, which is not present in the bio root. The conclusion is that the bio root is softer compared to the dentin. So when you go through, if the file at the end, when, if you have a plug of the material inside of a canal, it's, it is possible to remove it. So, so uh, usually the people ask you, say, do you use a solvent for that? Uh, you can use a solvent to dissolve the gutta percha. Gutta percha is still gutta percha. When you place the gutta percha inside the root canal, that will be the road to go through and find the apical patency. If you use a solvent for the gutta percha, I mean the, on, the, on the soil, for example, you are going to dissolve the gutta percha, but you are not going to dissolve the material. But if you dissolve the gutta percha, it will be easier to go through and dip inside the root canal. On my knowledge, there is no solvent for this kind of material. You can test one, the nitric acid, 
but I'm not sure that the patient will be will be very happy. And again, we don't need it because the good approach is going to drive your file. So um, we there is uh, usually a concern about uh, removing the material, which will be which could be infected inside the root canal. And that's why when, do, when we do a retreatment of a tooth, a root canal treated with a good pressure and zinc oxide original base sealer, we have to remove all the sealer. Why? Because these sealer will be infected. Bio root cannot infect, cannot be infected. So that's why even if at the end of the root canal retreatment, there is still some material on the walls of the dentin, that's not the biggest issue. That's not a big issue. Of course, if you want to remove it, you, if, you, if, you, if you prefer to remove it, there is no problem. But in case of uh, 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 if, if there is still some material sticks on the wall, that's the bioceramics, they cannot be infected. They will not seal on dentin if the dentin is infected. But as, as long as the material is sticked and sealed on the dentin, it cannot be infected by itself. Anyway, there is an experimentation completed by Tim Damask and his team from Germany, and then they compared different root canal filled with different material, and they looked after the remaining material on the walls after the um, after the retreatment process, and then they showed that uh, finally in the bio root group they, they will be they were they were able to remove most of the material. Uh, uh, on the walls, but again, it's uh, it's important because it it means that we can go through with the file with rotary or reciprocating file. You can remove this, but it's not a big issue to leave this material on the dentinal wall. So, in uh, in conclusion, in summary of this part, yes, root can be treated with the bio root can be retreated, and again, I'm talking about getting access to the apical third. Up to the uh, uh, to the top to the to the top of the uh, of the filling, so um, so we have time now for question. I just feel free to ask the question uh, 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 by typing it in the Facebook in the Facebook window. And there is one question that just arrived. Can I use BioRoot for perforation repair? Uh, yes, of course. That's a bioceramics. We definitely know for a while now because MTA was the first material to be used for that. And all the bioceramics are uh, definitely dedicated to the uh, treatment for perforation. Um, it's very complicated to, to, uh, to, to explain everything about perforation and the use of these bioceramics, but uh, because there are plenty of different kind of uh, uh, perforation. If you talk about apical perforation, yes, of course. If you talk about uh, the, the floor perforation, uh, probably the, the biodentin will be better and I will use the biodentin. But where the bio root is um, actually the most appropriate material so far on the market is in the case of the stripping. So uh, if you get a perforation of the mesial wall, for example, of the distal root canal and the lower molar, uh, the stripping is this kind of perforation like a zip. It's, uh, it's not a round perforation on the, like on the floor when you use the burr for the access cavity, but that's a, a stripping that the perforation it's a long one, very thin one, and it's not a very frank one. So that's why it's complicated to, to use them. So in the past, what we did, we used, the, uh, uh, we used to fill the root canal up to the level of the perforation. And after that, we fill the root canal, the rest of the root canal with the bioceramics. What I'm doing now, because I'm going to use the bioceramics for filling the root canal and filling the perforation. So what I'm doing now, I fill all the root canal the whole root canal with the bioceramics and the good aperture. What happens is that because the flowability of the bio root, the bio root is going to seal the perforation, but also to seal the root canal. So it's definitely easier, ever, ex uh, 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 even if you don't have any microscope, because with, in the case before, we had to be very careful when we fill the apical third, not to have to get some sealer going in the perforation before treating it with a bioceramic. So, uh, for this question, yes, I'm going to use the, the bio root for filling this stripping perforation. And then we have a, a, a few cases like that, and it showed a very, very nice, a very nice results. But it makes sense because the bio root, bio dentin, they are bioceramics. They are made of three calcium silicon, all of them. So uh, there is no reason not to use them. Uh, again, for the floor perforation, I would prefer the bio dentin because with this, 
uh, with a biodentin, you are going to fill this apical, the, this floor perforation, and then you fill the rest of the access cavity. So you do two two steps in one: perforation treatment and rebuild the the the, the, the tooth. So, is there any? If you don't have any other question. So there was one question yesterday which was interesting. It's uh, can I use uh, can I place a post in the same session with a bio root? The answer is no. Uh, this kind of material they have two type of sets. The first the first set when I mean and when you touch it with your probe, it's going to take 12, 10 to twelve to twenty minutes. But it doesn't mean that the material is completely set. And then for the f the, the the final setting time is more hours or days. So I will recommend if you want to use a, a post just to fill your root canal and then come back uh, a few days later then disobturate with uh, uh, with your drill because and you will go through the the, the root the, the good pressure and then you do your post preparation and post bonding and sealing exactly like you do uh, uh, with your uh, other material so far. Okay if there is no other question, um, I wish you a great day uh, and you can now fill your root canal all the day with a bio root because you know that in one or two or three years, if you had to retreat them, you know now that it's possible. Thank you very much and for maybe see you one day. Bye.